Like most of us, you probably have some family heirlooms or keepsakes around the house that you keep tucked away for sentimental reasons. And chances are you'll probably never use most mm. of it. It's just a bunch of stuff, stuff, as George Carlin would put it. That's all your house is? It's a place to keep your stuff while you go out and get more stuff. <laughs> now, sometimes, sometimes you've got to move. You've got to get a bigger house. Why? Too much stuff. <laughs> You've got to move all your stuff and maybe put some of your stuff in storage. Now imagine that. There's a whole industry based on keeping an eye on your stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, George loved him so much. Okay, so how do you finally let go or at least get it all organized? We have brought in a professional to help, Barbara, Barbara Reich, Reich, who AARP Magazine calls the Queen of Clean. Hello. Nice Hi. to see you, Barbara. Thank you. Yeah, you can get very attached. You right. do. Mm -hmm. Well, it's hard. If something belonged to a, a grandmother or something, you can't imagine tossing it, right? So this, tell us about the, yeah, the, the bond we have with our the stuff. The psychological burden yeah. of what heirlooms, silver, yes. china, portraits to keep is paralyzing for right. people. Yeah. And it's very hard to let go of these things, particularly when you have a family member say to you, I'm giving this to you yeah. to keep yeah. because I know you'll take care of it. You'll yeah. appreciate it. Or you'll it. keep it in the family. Or you won't put it on eBay. It's a very heavy burden. <laughs> yeah. So how do you sort out what things are, are of value, personal value or monetary value and what things you should just discard? Well, I like to ask three questions. Okay. So the first question I ask is, does it make you happy. Okay. When you look at this thing, if it makes you happy, that's great. It, if right. it doesn't, it might be time to let it go. Like okay. the elephant. Right. If the okay. elephant Unless isn't making grandma, you happy, yeah. right. Yeah. right. What are the other questions? The other question is, is it your memory? Right. You are not responsible for other people's memories. Uh -huh. So if it's not your memory, you can let it go. Uh -huh. And, and if you don't have the physical space for it, and you're not going to get a storage unit, then you can also let it go. And what's the third one? Do you have to do the the physical space, yeah, if physical you don't space. have physical okay. space it. for it. Okay. All right. I like the idea of consolidating things, right? So that you can somehow save them, but make them smaller. Absolutely. So Organize them more. Yeah. So, for example, pictures. Pictures can be digitized very easily. Mm -hmm. And particularly, like I know in my family, we have certain letters and pictures of relatives that my father has put on disc and all the cousins have right. it. And it's a beautiful thing to have. Yeah. Right. Beautiful. And like, for example, this is my grandmother's recipe box. Which you would want to keep. Which I want to keep. And it makes me happy. Right. And I haven't cooked a meal in 20 years. <laughs> yeah. But I like the recipe box with the food stains on yeah. the recipes in my grandmother's okay. handwriting. Yes. Just, yes. just hang on to right. it. And the other thing I would say is don't give somebody a box of old ticket stubs. If a memory is worth preserving, preserve it. Mm -hmm. So put it in an album chronologically so that it makes sense, so that it's a real keepsake for people. All right, let's, let's go back here, because these are, these are well, obviously some, obviously. This, is, this is a, this is a, like a, a World War, yeah, a, it's a World War II it's uniform? World War II uniform, yeah. yes. I mean, beautiful, or, or things that, that are of such personal value. What, how do you keep store, hang on to these? I mean, these are very emotional, yeah. particularly the baby clothes, the wedding dress, yeah. but the key thing is stored in a, in a box where it's, it's with mothballs, it's preserved, yeah. it's acid Take good free. care of it. Take good care of something because if something's important enough for you to save it, then make sure you save it properly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about the, did you save your wedding dress? What'd you do with that? I had upstairs in the cedar closet. Okay. I can't get one leg into it, <laughs> yeah, but right. I, I've got it. But you've yeah. got it and you preserved right. it properly. Yeah, finally, right. what about these? And what about sports equipment? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure that you around have the house. a lot yeah. of yes. that. Yes. So, you know, one of the things when, when you're deciding mm -hmm. what you have and what you should keep and what mm -hmm. you shouldn't keep, mm -hmm. you know, think about whether it has value. Right. Is it something that can be sold? Can it yeah. be consigned? So, in our house it has. Yeah. Yes. All right. All Thank right. you so Thank much. You so much.